A typical design pattern of externals is for the left inlet to handle additional messages that configure various parameters of the external. We'll write code to handle a reset message and as well a list message that has two numbers. This message will set mod A and mod B simultaneously. Let's head down to the setup method and we'll write the code to handle the reset message. So just after class add bang, class add method. And the first argument will take polybang underscore class. The next will be the method that will be called on the reset message. We haven't created that yet, but it will be called polybang underscore on reset message. It needs to be of the type T underscore method. So just before it, write parentheses T underscore method. The third argument is the message to handle. So that's gen sim and it's the symbol reset. There are no other arguments. So zero for the final argument. Now let's go ahead and create this function. So I'll copy its name and then head up to find on set a and we'll write it just before this function void and paste. And the argument will be a pointer of the polybang type. And this is pretty simple. We're simply going to call reset count. And we'll pass X as the argument to handle a simple list of two numbers. We'll head down to setup. And just after add bang, create some new lines, class add list. And setting the handler here is a lot simpler than add method. It's simply the class and the method to handle. So this will be polybang on list message. And it needs to be of the type T method. So we'll go ahead and cast it. Let's copy the name of this function so that we can create it and find the reset message. So here it is. And just after this method void and paste the name, open some parentheses and a list will have multiple arguments. The first will be a pointer of the type polybang and that's been pretty consistent. The second will be a symbol. So T underscore symbol. We're not actually going to be using this argument, but we do need it in place. Following this is an int that indicates the number of arguments that's received and that's argc. Finally, an atom, which is T underscore atom. And this represents a pointer to the argument vector, uh, which is really an array of the arguments that's received. Open and close our brackets. And now we will handle the array. In this case, we only want to handle a list that has two numbers. If there's one number, we just don't want to do anything. If there are no numbers, we don't want to do anything, though I doubt the user will send a list with no numbers because that's not really a list but I digress. So we'll use a switch statement. And for the argument, we'll pass argc, which is an integer representing how many arguments there are in the array. So now case two, which is there are two arguments. We're gonna go ahead and write some code, but let's go ahead and format the code first. And then the default action, if they don't send a list with two or less than two or greater than two, uh, we're going to throw an error in the PD window. And that error will read polybang two arguments are needed to set a new ratio. Okay, head back up to case two. And now let's set the mods. So we're going to call the polybang set mods method. And so we'll pass X and then in order to grab the values from the array, we've got to do something special here, which is to use this getter function called atom get float. And there are, you know, get symbol, get list, etc. And then we're going to pass argv and atom get float argv plus one. After we've set the mods, let's go ahead and reset the count. So polybang underscore reset count and pass X. In closing, it is worth emphasizing 
the need to use these atom get methods in order to grab the values from the argv array uh, because the values can be different in the argv array so these convenient getters have been created in the pure data source code and i found as i was developing this external i would often think i could just do this instead of atom get float just argv and then grab the value but it wouldn't work and i would sort of sit there puzzled but know that you do have to use these getters if you want to grab the values out of the arguments array here. So the last thing that we need to do is we need to create the logic that will start counting the bangs and then banging out of the outlets appropriately, and we'll do that next.